Hello, it's Jason Payne from Cold Banker d and Realtors. Well, my clients are very interested in this lot right behind me. It's actually on the Guadalupe River in Spring Branch, right next to 281. And of course, I'm gonna do a lot tour for them. So uh, let's go check it out. All right, this lot is an irregular lot. It actually curves all the way around this road. So everything you see kind of up to that transformer over there is part of this lot. It is a two acre lot, but what having that little weird section back there is perfect if you want to have an extra driveway going along that back part of the property going down to its own little private garage or the casita. This community is in uh, River Crossing. This is a gated community section of River Crossing called The Waters. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Um, but because this is a gated community section, there are actually two HOAs each of them about $300, bringing your total HOA to right around $600. I have to get the actual numbers for you. But this lot has an amazing view of the Texas Hill Country right there. You do have a little sound because Highway 281 is right close by. There's uh, this area we're looking at right now is the top section, uh, which is a perfect place to start your build site. and. Uh, I know my buyers are talking about doing a two-tier area, and uh, this will be the top area right here. Plenty of space for that. Plenty of space. Like there's just a lot of space here in this lot to get creative what you want to use it for. And uh, like I said before, this is a two-acre lot. You can see the other boundaries right there where the utilities are at. So water's already on it. That saves a lot of money because wells are not cheap. Asking price for this property is $279,000. Of course, that is negotiable. Uh, the house has been on the market. This lot has been on the market for about 27 days. But this is, this is what I'm considering the second tier going down. It's definitely got a pretty good slope. So... Uh, yeah, we're gonna walk all the way down. We do have some uh, Texas blue bonnet starting to pop up here. In a, in a week or two, they're gonna be a lot bigger and more predominant. But it is absolutely beautiful sight. I mean, uh, this lot's a lot more expensive, well, because it's two acres instead of just one, but also the views. We're going to go ahead and walk on down here. Showing you the terrain here. We have dropped down a bit coming to the second layer here. All right. Now this layer here, now we're getting anything below here, definitely wouldn't recommend uh, building on unless it's like a gazebo or something like that where we do have major flash floods ever once in a while, like once every 10 years we'll have a good one. Uh, I think it was in 2017 where we had that, uh, the big one in Memorial Day weekend. But some nice cedar trees here and Oh, just some beautiful oak trees. Let's check out this oak. It's a beautiful oak tree right there. And we do have some more oak trees up on this property here. It looks like uh, if you continue through and buy this property, you might get a free uh, picnic table. You can tell people have been coming out here doing a little grilling. This is a perfect spot for that, by the way, to be able to set up some chairs, have a fire pit going. But definitely multi layers in this property. All right, let's keep going down.
All right. Got a natural ledge kind of built in right there. And another section here that's relatively flat. Oh, didn't see it. We have another staircase back here. And more beautiful oaks. The game trails, so you know the deer like this area. And coming down to the bottom tier, you can start to see where the river is down there. I'm thinking something lives down in that hole. More game trails going back through here. All right, you can see a little bit of a fence line right there where the other person's property is. And now we're coming down to the beautiful Guadalupe River. Little deer tracks all over the place down here. Now this is, there's no like easy way to get into the river here because this is a pretty good drop off and it stays a pretty good drop off the whole way make sure I don't drop off but uh, you during the summertime you will see people out here on the other side of the river you can see they got trash cans and filled with uh, beer and sodas and stuff because yeah you will see people out here camped out quite often as uh, springtime continues and the weather warms up. But in this water here, you're gonna see people out in their little chairs and kids pl splashing and playing all the time. So definitely won't have a problem, uh, well, coming up here and waving and looking at people. But it's also kind of cool fishing from up here too. But uh, this cliff definitely tells people you're not coming up here and they don't, people aren't gonna be trying to climb up here. This private property and it's easy enough to mark with those little po purple spray paint if you wanted to or purple rope just let know stay out of here but uh that's the river and uh yeah you'll see people tubing and kayaking uh there's a good put in point right here for kayaks and just about i don't know just three quarter miles down the road there is a good pull out point at the bridge for 311. But yeah, you want some nice uh, private sections here for doing a little gardening. Do a little fire pit sessions, kind of coming out here and drinking some adult beverages and enjoying being out in nature. It's kind of neat. But you do have the road noise from 281 there. See if my old bones can get up this. All right, I'll start back up again as I get up to the top. All right, back up to the top area here right now. And what I like is about once I confirm that all this space here is part of the lot, it'd be real easy to, if you wanted to have a driveway come through Somewhere up here, curve around the main house. And if you come around to the side of these trees here, if you did want to build that little casita 
that my clients are talking about. This would be a really nice place for it. Kind of this back corner. We'll have to see what the setbacks are from the fence. But it's a pretty nice area here. Whoop, almost died. So it comes down to uh, still a little bit of slope from the front to the back, but not too bad. But yeah, if you have your main house up on this uh, the top layer and then coming down where it's curving, this is a bad spot back here for a little casita. And then you still have all this nature area going down to the picnic table and then the other two layers down there. All right, that's going to wrap the tour of this beautiful lot that my clients are thinking about in Spring Branch, Texas, River Crossing Subdivision, uh, two-acre lot, seller's asking $279 for it. I'm going to get some more information and uh, let's see if we can make this happen. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, hopefully this video is going to be good for you and your family to share just so you have more information to think about. If this is public on YouTube and you want a realtor that does videos like this to help you out, give me a call. My information is going to be on the final screen. All right, talk to you soon. And as always, like, subscribe, share, and all that other good stuff. All right, talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye.